Hey YouTube, welcome back. Um, Renee here again with another Suge um, blend review. This is Raijin. I hope I'm saying that one right. Uh, it's very close to the other one, but this is the Thunder God. Again, this is um, Drew Estate's um, second installment on the Suge line. Um, and this is the closest that I could get um, to an English blend, besides their only English blend that they came up with. Um, this one I wanted to try it because it is um, one that's got Perique, and I wanted to see if, um, if maybe these guys were going to do something um, different, uh, or I'm sure they did, but, you know, for me at least, that I would love. Um, this, let me read you what it says in the back. Um, the gods will shake your world with this robust blend that is heavily influenced by a generous portion of select, one-of-a-kind Perique tobacco from St. James Parish. The combination of masterfully selected dark air-cured toasted burleys, Virginia tips, and fire-cured tobaccos add strength with exceptional balance. Um, well, I did not like this, unfortunately. Um, but it's not because of it being a bad blend. I don't think it's a bad blend. I think it's a great blend. Um, I just, you know, I'm barely getting used to uh, Perique. This is heavy Perique. If you like Perique, then you will love this. I unfortunately didn't. Um, but, I don't know. You know, the, the Perique was so you know, present, that I'm, I mean, I could, I knew it had Virginia, but um, it was hard for me to, to distinguish the burley in it, um, and maybe it's because it's, you know, to toasted burley, um, but yeah, I mean, it was, it was really hard for me to distinguish anything else other than Perique. Uh, if you like Perique, you're going to love this. Um, if, you're a, if you're a heavy Perique lover, then maybe this might just be a little weak. But I doubt it. Um, I think you're going to find it very enjoyable. Um, like I said, I didn't like it. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smoke it more. I doubt this is going to change because, like I said, this is just a Perique blend. It really is. Uh, so I doubt that it's going to change for me. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep smoking it. And um, if anything changes, you know, I'll uh, make another video on it. But Because, uh, like I said, it's not a bad blend. It's not, um, it's not that the mixture is horrible. It's not. Like it says, it's well-balanced. Um, again, very rich, very smooth. Um, the flavor, it's very full, it's very rich, but it's Perique. Um, so I think, I think Perique lovers will, will really dig this. Um... I myself, like I said, just, uh, you know, I could taste it, um, and that's why I say, you know, it's going to be good for those of you who like Perique, for me, that's, that was the problem, is that I could just taste it a lot, uh, but other than that, I mean, the blend uh, smoked well, it burned very easily, uh, another great thing about these uh, blends, they, they burn very, very, very easily, um, very cool. And, uh, you know, they, they don't smoke themselves out at all. You know, the flavor is very consistent. All in all, you know, I'm, I'm impressed, you know, by uh, Drew Estate and, you know, this, this particular line. I, mean, it's, I think it's a lot better than at least with the two blends that I've tried from this line. Uh, just two blends alone, I already beat the four seasons that I actually have tried. Um, so, there you have it, guys. Suge. Raijin, the Thunder God. Perique blend. If uh, you like Perique, I highly suggest this. You will not be disappointed. Alright, compadres, comadres, as always, thank you for listening. Ran con Dios.